Hey y'all, welcome back. So as y'all can see, we have a new client today. And I just wanna to touch on new client consultations, which are extremely important when you have a new client. So here's just a list of like some general questions you kinda of wanna know before you get started on a new client, just to get a feel for them and their hair. You definitely wanna know what kind of hair you're working with as far as if, if there are any chemicals, like a relaxer, texturizer, any color, any type of chemical on their hair, you definitely wanna know before you begin any type of service. You want to ask about their last trim just so you can get a feel of how often they trim their hair. What's their regular routine like? Like how do you wear your hair on a normal basis? Is it always in a ponytail? Do you straighten it a lot? Do you just wear it curly? Do you wear natural styles? Do you wear braids a lot? This is super important to know just so you can get a feel of how they care for their hair at home. Medical concerns are really important such as scalp conditions like dermatitis, psoriasis, even dandruff so you know how to treat it before you begin on any new client. This is like the most important question you wanna ask and you wanna go ahead and examine the hair. Last but not least, what are your hair goals? That is like really the most important question because you want to know where your client is trying to go with their hair and what you can do to help, what you can offer, and how you can help them on their healthy hair journey. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So today I'm doing a silk blowout and wrap on my client. So I started off by detangling her hair. Um, her hair was a little tangled in her ponytail. If you are dealing with tangled hair, you want to make sure every single strand is detangled before you put a drop of water because you will run into a hot mess, okay? So here's the shampoo I used. First the um, deep cleansing and then I went in with the Natural Lime by Design Essentials. I love this stuff. It's perfect for natural hair and curls. And I also followed up with the conditioner. I just want to stress the importance of deep conditioner especially during these winter months it is super important to find a good conditioner that works for your hair and to go in heavily with that conditioner and do a nice deep condition like every week to two weeks or however often you shampoo your hair super super important so I just go in section by section applying the conditioner making sure I get it in and get it on every single strand I'm telling y'all these winter months are really harsh on the hair that's why it is kind of a good idea to keep it protected during the winter months but um, that conditioner, that deep conditioning, the steam treatments, it's just really important to lock in all of that moisture to protect from the cold elements and essentially keeping all the old hair on your head, okay? So here's her hair after the deep conditioning treatment. As you can see, her curls are looking nice and hydrated. And now we're about to go in and blow dry. So I use the Design Essentials HCO. This is a leave-in, but it's also a heat protecting against like the blow dryer and the flat iron. So I love this stuff. I spray it liberally on the hair. And I go ahead and with my blow dryer, a lot of people always want to know what blow dryer I use. All the links to everything I'm using will be down below. So make sure you check out the description box if you want to see the products and tools that I'm using. And yeah. So here I'm just showing you guys what it looks like when your ends are split. You, you will see like see-throughs and you just want to go ahead and get those cut off as soon as possible. When you have split ends and you don't get them cut, all they do is travel up the hair shaft causing more breakage, more splittage. So you just want to go ahead and get those cut off. Um, especially during the winter months, if you don't keep your hair moisturized as I mentioned earlier in the video, you are definitely going to see more split ends. So that's why I stress the importance of deep conditioning because it keeps those ends sealed and moisturized and protected from you know the breakage so super important going ahead and giving her a much needed trim and then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the silk wrap
course, you already know if you Tierra J Beauty Gang, you already know Silk Essentials for the win. This is just my favorite serum and heat protectant. It's like really the only thing I use and it's just perfect every time. So I'm going in with my hair arts. Y'all, I had to bounce back. Y'all know I got them new flannels, but my hair arts are just like, it's just what I'm used to and just, they just trusty, okay? So what I'm doing here is just um, going through one pass straight and then going with the second pass doing like a um, bump and then you'll see towards the top I'm gonna do more of a curl I'm trying to give her like a body wrap look or whatever and then when I go in with the silk wrap it'll all come together into a nice like feathered out just uh, y'all will see it but anyway here is the first step in our silk wrap <music> For the silk wrap, you're just using regular kitchen saran wrap and a wide tooth comb. And you just want to comb the hair into a wrap, just a regular around the hair wrap. Have your client help you out, you know, put them hands there to hold that hair up because it is super silky and it's not going to stay. And then what you do is just wrap the saran wrap around the head until you get it nice and secured. And you want to sit them under the dryer for about five minutes on um high heat and then let it cool down for another five minutes just room temperature and that locks everything in so y'all will see the outcome in just a few seconds she's pretty much done i hope you enjoy the come out the gorgeousness and thanks for watching this video i will talk to y'all in my next one